Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the very last match of today, as well as the last match of the group stages. Tomorrow, we will start off with the bracket stages. However, first, we've got to decide who is going to be there. It is the thriller, the match you've been waiting for. It is the final of the Group D. It's, in fact, Rinfact versus Brett Bite. Whoever wins here will be, will be moving on to play versus Infused in the uh, in the uh, playoffs whoever loses here will meet phantasmagoria in uh, yep. the playoffs as well so let's go into the game let's go over the rosters it's winfact versus red bite winfact we have not actually looked at in this entire tournament and uh, it are definitely uh, definitely a team to be reckoned with we got ourselves zenith fantasy mark reflex and megazord megazord replacing trigger from the last safe tournament. On the other uh, hand, we got Red Bite, uh, Xander, Barcha, Royas, Danny, R Danny D, and Robbie. Yep. Uh, for win fact, though, uh, Megazord obviously is Leonidas, who always oh, is Oh, my apologies. Then it's actually. Yep. Yeah. Zenith is the. Uh, Zenith is taking trick triggers. Yeah, uh, my apologies. Place at the moment. Yep. Le Leonidas is one of those guys that likes to change his names very, uh, he's very one of them. Yeah. often. And. Yeah. I believe last, last event he was I Kill You. He's now utilizing Megazord. In all honesty, though, Meg the Megazord was probably one of my favorite characters of mm. uh, of the Power Rangers. So yeah, we kind of have to throw that one in. But the first round will, in fact, go to the for both. Yes, both sides oh, both managed sides, to pick yeah. himself up one round right off the bat. Not too bad. Even the win fact did manage to pick himself up right. the first. Let's take it away here. Let's see where we're gonna go. We're taking this away on the side from Fantasy. Fantasy, who's got a series of absolutely sublime videos on YouTube. Do find, do look him up. He uh, explains all the details about Call of Duty as well, set nates and all the basics of all the maps. So if you guys have any ideas, we we'll have want to know uh, how to may big players play how the set nades work on each and every map you be sure to check out his stuff as well as some of the movement tutorials which really take the maximum advantage of the dynamics of the quake engine which is the what is pretty much what uh, the modern warfare series has been built upon the bomb will be down however in mid shops one of the red by players will be just sitting by roy has besides uh, bins and b not gonna getting himself out of there as mark will pick him up Mark is definitely, once again, one of the players to look out for, together with Zenith, who is replacing Trigger, as we already noticed. On the other hand, Leonidas has not managed to pick himself up any frags just yet. He will be ro rolling around with that scope. Will find himself. Mark is going to get shot from the side as Robbie will come in on towards that one, but he is still back in the map. Who has got the bomb? The bomb is down. The bomb is somewhere in mid-shop still, if I'm not completely mistaken. Indeed. Reflex and Mark standing tall. Robbie looking at the yeah we see uh, yeah Mar Robbie picking up Mark here and Danny Dico will pick up the second one on towards Reflex. It's one to two in favor of Red Bite. All right, then I'm gonna pick this straight up with Zenith. Zenith, the uh, trigger replacement, like we were saying earlier, he is obviously playing the SMG alongside. That's a light throw. He is actually playing AK. Uh, originally was an SMG, but he's playing AK, he's the bomb carrying out for Winback as he does make his way towards the B site with the bomb. Looks to be a bit of a split. Majority of Winback though on that B side as they are really... In fact, everything has just gone completely silent. No frags yet to be exchanged this half, this round, sorry. As Mark clearing his way through B shops, nothing for him. There is a player on his right though. Zenith does take down Robbie. Scope down now for Red Bite, opening up that B site just a little bit. In all honesty, it doesn't really, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter because I don't think uh, Leonidas has actually gotten themselves a single frag in the last two, picking up a single frag in the first round, currently at 1-3 to three in this series of matches. Fantasy will pick himself up one. Reflex may be able to tack one up here on Danny Dico as he tries to get the cross. Finally managed to finish him off as he pops out of the... Uh, out of the sandbags, and for the first time in a while, we'll see Winfact getting a plant in. Where is Ryaz? There he is, getting tagged up almost. Yeah, there he is. As there we have it, Leonidas finally picking himself up a round that he deserved, and it's all tied up. It's two to two. Remember, whoever wins here will meet Infused in the bracket stage. I'm quickly gonna cheat and see who else they have the potential of meeting there, as well as uh, Red Bite Italy or ATAS. 
in the yeah. semi-final if for they move on. For those of you that haven't been following the event so far, uh, Infused are in fact playing without Pansy. She is no longer playing with the team Infused tag. And instead, they are using... Uh... Another player. Let's get back into the matchup. Is Danny Deco standing up on balcony by B, overlooking? Yeah, running M4, actually. Tid. That's it. it Tid. Yeah. Were you just quickly looking through the rosters? Megazar in the meantime, also known as Leonidas, looking over towards Calf. Anybody there? He knows somebody is most likely sitting just behind that ledge. Can't really see on the radar just yet, but he will be taken down by uh, Sandro. Comes out, Fantasy will push out as well. Yes, there are, in fact, two players there where Leonidas was looking. And, you know, Winfact is trying to push in towards the side, but they're going to have themselves a very, very difficult time because Barcha is already there. Reflex trying to get in there. Mantic take out Barcha himself. The bomb is down on the wrong side of the statue. Fantasy coming out. Danny Dico will get himself this shot on towards Reflex. He's going to get flanked very, very quickly here by Fantasy. Does get himself the kill, but... Kills coming back and forth. Rabbi taking out Fantasy as well. Being the last man standing, making a score. Two to three in favor of Red Bite. Okay, let's see how Winfact respond to this deficit now as Megazord, the scope for Winfact, is in fact pushing straight into mid shots. With that Deagle out, going to switch the scope now, trying to get that pick towards that B house. Just but one, just misses him. Going to regret that. As I do, he does get heavily tagged up in that mid shots, trying to look towards A now, the bomb for Winfact is on its way towards that B site. Looking to get that pick into A, checking every possibility. Nade coming in from Red Bite. Doesn't take him down though. As Reflex, it does take down Royers. Two players of Red Bite down. Only Zenith to fall for Winfact though. As Leo does get taken down by Robbie. Robbie, really? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see him on Leo. As it is now a 3v3 equal numbers for both teams. But Reflex are quickly changing that. Nice Reflex play from Reflex there. As he does get a lovely deagle onto Bart. And now Sander and Robbie up against three Winfact players. The bomb still not really committing to a site for Winfact. Finally, Mark does make the decision. He does just make his way towards A as Reflex takes down Sander. And now Robbie, last man standing, heavily tagged. And Reflex gets a lovely four man on that B side to bring it to 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three to three it is. Let's see. If Redby can wrestle themselves out of this one, let's see from the perspective of fantasy. Set nades coming out, the smokes and the nades out there with the AK and moving his way towards the B site, uh, the A site. My apologies. It does look like Win Factor going to try to commit here. <laughs> Leo actually managed to get himself a kill with the nades. I don't think he's done much with the uh, scope in the recent times. No, he's only got himself three kills in the last six rounds. Really not the sort of uh, play you want to see seeing from a scope at all. Fantasy and Zenith, last men standing here for win fact. Guys, if you want me to spectate a guy, Fantasy, then you kind of already imply commentator's curse on that one. So that's uh, definitely not something you want to be doing. So right now, Fantasy, once again, on lower overlook. Royaz going all the way around. Danny Dico is sitting inside a calf. No problem there. Could try to get, if he sits on top of the wall towards the right right here, may be able to take down Fantasy. He should be on the low ground. There he is. Did not take him down for some bizarre reason. And Robbie is just chilling. Looking towards Cap, expecting Fantasy to rear his face, but it won't be enough because Barch is already there. And that's going to make the score 3 to 4. We're seeing once again the back to back sees 1 0, 1 1, 1 2, 2 2, 2 3, 3 3, and now 3 to 4. Let's give the men what they want to see if this commentator's curse is existent. Then let's go with Fantasy for Winfact, just waiting for every sort of nade. And good thinking from him, though, as four nades do land on that mid street from Red Bite, really trying to slow down that A attack from Winfact as Megazord does pick up that scope frag. And we were just saying earlier that he didn't pick up enough. There it is, as Fantasy is now in mid shops. Does get spotted by one in Garage, they're trying to take him down. I don't think he's redeemed just yet, Leo. It's just by getting one scope is definitely not enough to keep him and his team in the game because Danny Dico will shut Fantasy down right there and then and looking to get another one here on towards Mark, who takes none other than Barcha out of the equation. Let's see where he is. There he is. It's Mark, in fact, sitting on top of B House. Looking into it to B, but it's not going to be anything he can do because the bomb is long and far away. And all he can try to do now is get himself frags unless he rotates all the way back towards the mid shops where the bomb is currently hiding out. 
and that right there is going to be one hell of a journey because it's in the middle of the street, and Royaz is going to be there. Danny Deco is going to be there. Robbie is going to be there. As soon as he tries to pick up that bomb, is actually on lower overlook. He's going to get absolutely slapped in the face just like that. Moves out in the street. And for the first time, we see one of these two teams taking the lead. It's 3-5. to five. And I do want to add another thing. Whoever wins this, this matchup will actually have the opportunity to sleep in the 12 or 12 uh, at noon tomorrow. If whoever loses here, we'll need to be at the gaming center at 9 a.m. <laughs> Early start for one of these teams then. Yeah, especially if you consider the local time right now is midnight. So whoever wins, uh, if, if they finish up the map quickly, and then the loser may actually get themselves eight hours of sleep. Oh, lovely play from Leo then taking down one of the AASMGs. It was Sander who bit the bullet though. As you see, Winfat stacking three players on that B site. Four, if you include Zenith, as he does go down to Bartger. The bomb is now loose on that B shop's area. Winfat going to try and do their best to repossess it. As Fantasy does take it down, Bartger. Responding to the frag, he did get onto Zenith. And again, from Fantasy onto Danny. Red Bike players falling on A, and so straight away Reflex does push on it. Taking that bomb towards the A site. Smoke can off from Reflex. Let's go with Reflex now. Bomb carrier about to interact with that A bins player. Is Fantasy, in fact, who's going to find him, does take him down. And now the bomb goes down. Roy is last man standing for Red Bite. And he's all the way over a beat. And the bomb goes down on 43 seconds with very little chances. Mark does mop it up to 4-5. Four, 4-5 five. Four, five it is. We are, in fact, nine rounds into this play. Round 10 about to go afoot. Once again, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, chaostv.nl slash YouTube for all the VODs. As soon as I'm done with this matchup, I'm going to be uh, adding them to the Tech 9 thread as well, including all the highlights, which our lovely producer is going to be uh, trying to slap together as soon as we're done here. You see, I got them all on note, so it's all good. In the meantime, though, Zenith is the man to be looking at because he's down and out. Same thing with Fantasy, who managed to do such a good job in the previous round. Does not stand tall at all. Danny, once again, instead of running his usual weapon, is actually going for the M4. Looking on towards the back of the street, Reflex, Leo, and Mark will be the last man standing. Let's see, where is Leo? Strutting, <laughs> strutting Leo with his AK and the scope. Looking around, nobody at calf, nobody at underlook. Let's see if we can find any double, double palms with this smoke here. Not going to help much at all because the bomb is going to go around. If Leo can keep the uh, pressure down like he's trying to do now and maybe give his team the opportunity to go on for a B plant, but it's going to be very, very difficult because the entire red, IT, uh, red bike team except Royas is still standing with one guy in the back of B. As soon as uh, Leo walks in here, he is going to find himself at the wrong end of some scope fire. Oh, well, as he was. Robbie just diving into that AK fire there. Yeah, that's a big shame for him there. Danny Deco still here, taking over for Robbie. Still Leo by himself. Barch is going to get him on the crossfire with the SMG. Making a score of four to six. Two more rounds remaining in this half. A red bite, a really strong advantage. Now we're going to see how red bite can push on this. Try and hold this lead. Let's go with Robbie then. The scope for red bite and try and get into that strong position. Does just catch a glimpse of the opposing scope. Leo on his way towards B as Reflex gets that nade on the B side as well. Red Bike going to be fully aware of this positioning on B as Winfact do come up again with Robbie going down to Megazord's scope. And now Bartja, the only man for Red Bike to pick up a frag so far onto Reflex as it's 4v3. Numbers definitely supporting Winfact, but not for long as Sander does take down Zenith. Mark pushing towards that back spawn. Sander goes down to him and now Sander and Bart Sorry, not Sander, as he just got slaughtered. It is Danny and Bart, or just Danny now, the last man standing up against three win fight players. Five to six. Right now, it would be very, very good for the win fact team to get themselves a single round here and pretty much cancel out any for anything that uh, the uh, Red Bike team has produced so far in this series. Let's take it from Fantasy, what he is going to be doing. The bomb is going to a... Let's see if we can get into it. No, he's actually going mid shops and potentially going around, even though Zenith already opening up fire. Now that right there, Fantasy, is what you want to be doing. Going in there, really taking up the job from the SMGs. As an AK going on the aggressive on towards Double Palms. Can he get around here? Really, yeah, like I said, really taking up the job of what the SMG should be doing. Using this Royaz and Robbie all by themselves. Not picking up this kill was critical. Does finally manage to pick that one up, and it's 6-6. Six six. 
It's all tied up. Even Stevens. I think WinFact really did need those two rounds. I mean, if, if it was to go to 8-4, that would have been a complete crippling blow towards WinFact. But they kind of they brought their play back to a kind of a slow pace and a slow attack against that defense from Ridby, which is just perfect. Well, let's uh, not wait any longer. You just need, you're the only one that needs to wait uh, ready up here, Zen uh, Machine. I'll be Zen if you'd like it. You can, I, you can, you, you know what? You can call me Lucy if you want to. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. You pay me enough. Back into the game. It's time <laughs> for round two, half two. WinFact versus Red Bite here live on Chaos TV, made possible by none other than MediaOnShop.nl. Be sure to check it out here on ChaosTV.nl slash Medion. Right now, the score is 6-6. Six to six. Barcha is down currently. Leo as well, so that's pretty much going to take both sides' as, uh, one of their sides' sco scope out of the equation, which is going to be Leo and Zenith now being dropped as well. Robbie with that nade. Living this fantasy and reflex. Fantasy being extremely aggressive with his AK so far. Looking to get in towards that B and potentially clean out two of the players there. One, two, three. Does not manage to hit the shot. Needs to go for the rotate and towards the back foot. Not going to be able to do so. Try to fake it one out there. Just waiting and waiting and waiting. He things Red Bite may go for a push, but how wrong he is. They're just going to wait by the wall because they have all the time in the world. The bomb is not here. Because the plant is coming in. Fantasy with the move out. I don't think he really nice is that it's a fake. Oh, well done. Takes down Robbie. And uh, yeah, the double fake was a fact. Maybe able to get himself another one on the wall bank. <laughs> Sadly enough, because there's two there. Fantasy tagged up on the back foot. And all Red Bike can have to do now is just sit back, chillax, and wait for Fantasy to make him, him make his move. Nice try from Fantasy, but Sander was just too fast for him predicting that movement through the smoke, and he just took him straight down. Six to seven for Red Bite here on the strike side of things. Let's see if Reflex can take this one away with those set and eights. Smoke's going off all the way over A. He's pushing very aggressively into the site. However, I don't think Red Bite is looking... Oh my god! Mark going for a double headshot right there. Holding off the entire Red Bite onslaught. Leaving the Sandra and Robbie remaining. Robbie just get himself finally the kill on towards Mark, but does get himself the double. Well played there by Mark. For a little while there, I was just messing around with, with, uh, with Reflex sitting inside A while the entire Red Bite team is rotated all the way back around towards B, and now it's just Robbie remaining. He does have the bomb, but to what avail? Can he clutch this? I doubt he will, because uh, Leo is there. He struts right through. It's 7-7. Seven seven. Still going for the one-for-one. One. I think the only advantage we saw was the 6-4 at 1.4 Red Bite, but Winfax straight away took that out of their dreams as they brought it back to the level 6-6, six, six, and now it is on the 771 round extra for each team. Yeah, both uh, but both sides know that the pressure is on. Both sides indeed, yeah. don't want to get out of bed at 9 a.m. Hell, I don't want get to uh, get out of bed at 9 a.m., but I kind of have to. Not good. Not good at all. No. Especially considering they already sat there at midnight where they are. So that is going to be brutal. Well, that's pretty much on schedule, though, so that's all mm -hmm. good. Oh, and Bart with a level three. Can he make it four? As Fancy takes down Rec Reflexor, saving him from Bart just three man. Oh, nice. Leo. Leo comes around with that deagle. Definitely using his deagle more than his scope at the moment. We have seen Leo as well. It seems to be working for him. Well, he's just he's just deagle blowing it up like a boss. Indeed. So that's the way to go. It's a big. Uh, just checking out the chat right now. We have a whole bunch of uh, old school Call of Duty players right there. We got none of them with any of them as old Pansy. He's uh, sitting in the chat right now. That's pretty pro. Miracles moved off. Oh, Miracles still Pansy. here. So that's cool, I guess. But yeah, the Pansy, why are you no longer playing for Infused? What, what's going on there? Seriously. <laughs> yeah. She's too busy playing with herself, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Let's uh, not mention that too much. Robbie finding himself at the wrong side of things. Even though he managed to deagle himself out of the situation, Fantasy in the meantime, AKing it up. And it's just going to be Robbie all by himself. Let's see if uh, he can. Yeah, he's, oh, he's got himself the scope. He's got himself an AK. May actually be able to do. Oh, sexy play on Zenith. 
Found a C, Leo and Mark. He's got 54 seconds to do this. The bomb is in the most awkward position imaginable right on the entry of A. However, actually, no WinFat players are watching that front A area. He could very easily slip away with that bomb. As he does, he does pick it up and make his way towards that B site. Checking every corner. It's about, he does actually hear one of the WinFat players heading, making his way towards that car. Oh, and it is Megazord, but takes him down. Nice play from Leo there. Just predicting Robbie's bomb pick and brings it to 8-8. Eight, eight. Are we going to see? I want to see a pull away from one of these teams now. It's definitely a key time as I'm going to go with Reflexa for all. In fact, that is to make his way into way, trying to get as far into way. In fact, no nade stopping him on the A site, which is just quite a heavy B from Red Bite. However, Reflexa does try and get his nades out. Let's go to Red Bite now as we do see them swarming towards that B site. Fancy and Reflex still on the A side though. Surely they're going to have to come onto this soon as Red Bite are at the advantage. It is 4 to 3. Fancy, Reflex, and Zenith do stand. Zenith does stay down. Robbie bring it to level numbers though. As Sanders not going to let it happen. Does see Reflex quite close to another Winfat player. I think it is Zenith way back in spawn as he does look to be pushing him now. Oh, it's Fancy as Fancy goes down. And now Zenith, last man standing, jumping out of that flowers area. Getting pressure put on him by Bart. Is Trigger's replacement going to be able to shine here? It does already getting tagged up. Not looking to. Oh! Pressure's coming around the corner. And oh! 9 oh, 8. Lucky. Nice try. Yeah, absolutely. Good, good try nonetheless. But again, we're seeing Red Bite taking the lead. And they're starting to smell the fact that they may actually be able to sleep in tomorrow morning. And if Wind Factor are too tired. Then that right there is going to make them it's very, very, I mean, yeah. It's, it's Especially no considering they have to, they have to start playing versus uh, Phantasmagoria, a team that has not been played since yet, has been playing since yesterday. They haven't touched the PC the entire day, considering they were in Group A, and they won't have any. Yeah, they they won't be war. I don't think they're going to be warmed up for uh, a 8 a.m. start. To be quite honest, it's true. I mean. They I'm not sure how the event exactly works, but I'm, I'm sure they didn't get that much time on the PCs before they dropped straight into that first game. So, I mean, I know some players are really they religious about their warm-up when it comes to game competitive gaming, but we'll, know, we'll see how it affects them as we do go straight back into the game with Red Bite on the advantage with one player over Fantasy and Mark's deaths. Reflex will as... be able to pick himself up the SMG right on top of the A side. Where did the bomb go? Bomb is right on towards Robbie, moving it in. He can be shot in the back unless now well, Danny Dika will take him up. And the plan is going to come in. Reflex will find himself all forever alone. And Red Bite is looking to extend their lead 10 to 8. Unless Reflex whips something magical out of the top hat. It doesn't look like it's going to be the case because he's trying to deagle bro it up. And there's two dudes in the middle of the street. And he's getting himself out deco by none other than Danny Deco. It's 10 the 8. Winfight really going to have to pull this back now. They have a two round disadvantage there, meaning they've pulled it back once. So whether they, need to, they can do it again, they're really going to need to do this. So let's see how Winfight counts. Let's just go with Leo then, the scope for Winfight. Just double, always checking that B push there. I mean, Winfight themselves pushed it. And it's Danny, the SMG for Red Bite, does try it, but Zenith is right there. Stopping him in his tracks as Zenith is going to get that second onto Sander. Both SMGs down now for Red Bite. Let's stick with Leo. Looking towards any sort of peak towards Cafe. Nothing for him though. 3v3. The battle has gone silent after quite a few frags being exchanged for both teams. Yeah, the momentum has completely shifted. Indeed. We saw a very, very fast play earlier on in this series. Consistently seeing plants in under 20 seconds. And now it's just move over towards a little bit of a slow moving creek. A casually moving game. Still people are dying. Sure. And Zenith is definitely holding off this B side. That's three frags he's picked up all on that B entrance. And Red by I think, have learned their lesson and look to be making their way towards A. In fact, though, do have Leo locking down that cross towards the bomb side. Let's see how Leo can handle this push from Red Bite. As he is just waiting, lying in wait for this cross. Does spot one. Just missing him. 30 no, seconds remaining. Still one on the pass. The bomb looks to be going down now from Royes. Explosives planted. Nade coming out from Megazord towards that Teps area. Whether or not he's going to catch it is a different question. He doesn't as Royes just sitting on that bomb. Robbie making his way towards Underlook. Leo in the meantime just looking towards that side waiting for anybody to crush uh, to, uh, to cross. Zenith will go down from Robbie. Robbie on the rotate towards the... Yeah, it's not going to happen much. It's 11 Royes. the 8. 
the two red... rounds away from yeah. being. The red light be team is. Yeah. yeah, the red light team is starting to extend their lead. I did not expect it to go this way. I pretty much expected Winfact to come out on top. Would it be because of Trigger not being with the team anymore, being replaced with Zenith? Maybe that is one of the reasons this is happening. But I uh, well, I, yeah, well, I have heard from uh, some players that uh, Zenith has been relatively inactive in the preparation for this event. But mm -hmm. still, I mean, well, well looking at these stats here, he's second on his team, 15 to 15. Uh, pretty much, yeah, he's with the rest of his team, with Leo, with Fantasy, all of those three getting 15 frag uh, kills in total. On the other hand, Red Bite is only having Robbie remaining with 16, 16 for Butch as well. Danny Dico at 14, and then Sandra and Royaz with 12 and 11 respectively. Mark is the one that I find very surprising so far. I'd expect him to do better than this. Indeed. But it is Robbie, though, on the disadvantage. He's the last man standing for Red Bite up against four. Very keen win fact players. They do not want to lose any more rounds. I just said that dreaded word, which no shot cast. Yeah, I was about to say, I was. Oh, you're really no longer God. allowed to use that word. After the, what was a... Uh, I, I believe it was said about 55 times indeed. in one, well, I in was one there cast. At the event. Were, were you, by the way, but were you one of the people doing that, by the way? Oh, no, I was, uh, I was witnessing it and witnessing the audience's reaction. So It I was know. one of the few events, it was one of the few I-series I've actually missed, which I thought was a real shame, but in retrospect, it probably was for the best that I wasn't there. 11-9 uh, well, the in the meantime, though. Very nice, very yep. nice play. Yeah, 11 to 9 in the meantime, Sander will find himself on the saw shores of the river Styx all of a sudden, waiting to respawn Roy as in the meantime, with the bomb up. About to make his decision with the rest of his team. It looks like it's going to be a B push, or they're going to try to fake it one out. No, they have made their entry picks in towards B. They should be able to get in there with Royaz inside the alleyway. All they need to do now is clean out the back. It's going to be Leo and Royaz. No, he's actually going for a little bit of a fake plan. Who's in the back there? Yeah, it's uh, no, yeah, it's actually a Leo. He's going to regret predicted. that fake right now as he yeah. just walked it into Leo Nade. It's not going to happen, though. It's going to be yeah. 9 to 12 with a bit of an upset. It looks like our good friends from uh, our Red Bite will be able to sleep into midday. Well, we say that now. I mean, is, that, is it, is it going to happen with a draw as well, or are we going to... In the case of a draw, we will have to call Marcus to see who has the advantage in rounds. Okay, that's going to be interesting. I doubt, moment, it's gonna, I, I no doubt it's going to go to that point, a, though. It's an interesting thing to see. I mean, we have... Oh, there it is. Danny is the one to draw blood. And Zenith following, taking down Danny. Zenith holding that mid shots. He's got that very fast. He does trying to support his t teammates on A. He gets taken down by Barger, though. Barger, the AK and A. Two aggressive AKs kind of meeting in the middle of the street as Magazord does take down Sander. Now 3v3. The pressure and is fact, on. Really, once more. really need this round. Yeah, Leo ready to go. Robbie will pick up Mark here with the Deagle. It's one V. It's oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh dear. Reflex. Reflex is the last man standing. He is the only man left between Red Bite and a long night of absolutely delicious sleep. The bomb is implanted on B. Reflex is by statue. What and can you do for us, Reflex? I doubt he will be able to do anything. There it is. As he says, and that right there will wrap up the group stages from the Adroids Call of Duty 4 Masters being played at the Wizard Enskede in the Netherlands. You're watching it live here on Chaos TV with myself, Acepec. And on the phone, we have none other than a Machine. That right there is going to make things very interesting for tomorrow morning because I have for myself in front of me the brackets of the teams that we are going through in round number one from the quarterfinals. We will see Phantasmagoria meeting WinFact in the very first match together with Chaos Esports versus Lowland Lions. Phantasmagoria versus WinFact will no doubt be the first match that we're going to be doing commentary on. In the second one, there is the Red Bite Italy versus ATAS at the at 1 p.m. versus Inf uh, and then we have Infused versus none other than the team we just saw winning. It was Red Bite playing at 1 p.m. We'll have to figure out which of these teams are going to be commentated on, but no doubt Phantasmagoria versus WinFact is going to be one of the games that I am going to be looking forward to.
I don't know, man, uh, Machine. Are you going to be joining us tomorrow morning? or we're uh, gonna I'm have afraid this is all you're going to get from me. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for the opportunity. Fair and enough. thank everyone for listening to me. Fair but enough. I'm going to be on my way to Wales tomorrow. So. What would you do in Wales? I know, family, hey. But yeah, thank you very much, everyone. It's been an awesome event so far, and I'm sure the finals are going to get even more tense. So from me, it is goodbye. Pretty much that. Thank you, Machine, for joining us here on the stream. We will... Uh, gently remove you from the premises as uh, on our side here from chaos tv we're gonna go and work deep into the night because well obviously we have to get out of bed at 9 a.m ourselves in the morning because we have to start and give you guys at home all the coverage that you want from the Ad uh, android cop masters however we still have got the video on demand to pull up we already have most of the bots from Group A, B, and C already available for you guys to enjoy. Be sure to check out our YouTube page, which is going to be on Chaos TV slash, uh, well, Chaos TV .nl slash YouTube. Everything's already on there except Group D. We're going to try to get that up ASAP, as well as all the highlights, such as a certain individual pretending to be a tree. My name has been Acepec here live on the stream. We will see you tomorrow morning for more coverage of the Adroids Call of Duty 4 Masters.